<clears throat> All right, so it's time for me to give a, an update on what's been happening with the campaign. An absolute madness over the last few days. We finally, finally launched Burst on Kickstarter. It's, it's more of a micro launch, it's more of a soft launch. It's not gonna be the big, big, big launch for the company, I don't think, but it's the first step. And it's, it's the absolute, like, biggest thing that's happened because it brought it brought the company out of the realm of like hypothetical and abstract and into something that's real one of the things that that we did to try to guarantee a large outcome even for the first campaign was to hire marketing agencies um, to produce a high like a highly viral ad campaign for us and, and really have like a very, very large outcome on this Kickstarter campaign. And um, well, suffice it to say that hasn't happened. Both both teams that we brought on have not really come through on that front. So, um, you know, we were helped with making, um, with, with creating a kind of a, like, an, an, uh, what's, what's the word, like, like, we didn't have even the, like, this is now what, June 18th, right? Going back to February or March, we had nothing. Like our company had like zero followers on Facebook, had like zero emails in our mailing list. We did not have a mailing list. We did not have basically a Facebook page. We had no one just a few months ago. Um, fast forward to, you know, June 18th, we have thousands of people on our mailing list. We have thousands of followers on our Facebook page. Um, and more importantly than that, uh, we have now several hundred people in our Facebook group, like a private group just for the company, hardcore fans. So we have a community now that's really, really important for, for this kind of launch. So we have that, that's a tremendous asset. But we, what we hired companies to do was to give us uh, kind of a, a ninja elite level ad campaign and and that has not happened so coming to the in, uh, like the first campaign was meant to, to, to be well it was always going to be launched like er, much much earlier right so we began with the first agency and we told them let's launch April 1st or May 1st and that became you know May and then that, that became June and we just kept moving the, the date up more and more because we saw that there were no results and it was very traumatic in that sense because you know you want to see people liking your product and you want to see positive successful outcomes um, and everyone that you've ever talked to about this, this product in your company all, all your stories and all your books and all the illustrations that these amazing people have made and your whole team and like how much like how much work has been done and look at how it all looks how amazing it all is it's always gotten the most positive feedback. But when these teams that are, are brought on to do marketing for you, they run a campaign, then they come back and they're like, we got nothing, like we can't do this, this isn't working. And it's very disheartening because like, you wanna believe that this is gonna be a big success and then you have a team come on and they, they're professionals at this and they're like, yeah, we, we can't get you an audience. Um, it just, I didn't know at the time. It just turns out that what really was the case was when you deal with Kickstarters, you're dealing with a specific type of audience. So when you have an agency that helps you to launch a Kickstarter, they kind of know how to target that specific audience. They don't know how to speak to all kinds of people of all kinds of walks of life, all ages, male, male female. They don't know everything. They just know the one the one demographic that really buys on Kickstarter and how to speak to that audience. So when they couldn't find an audience for us, it just it wasn't because of us, it was because they didn't know how to do it. They just didn't have the skills. They never have, have learned to talk to, you know, early 30s moms with families and kids. They just didn't know how to speak to that audience, for example, which is one of our core, audi uh, core audiences. So um, coming into this campaign, we just had very little success from a marketing standpoint. 
And um, I have to make a decision, are we gonna launch or not? Because we don't have the results that we want from the, from the marketing standpoint. Meanwhile, on the community standpoint, the stand front, the standpoint, like we're making amazing progress. For the first time ever, there's like people following us and giving us lots of feedback and like liking, you know, the same people liking every single thing we post, commenting on every, uh, on every announcement we make, giving us feedback, like the same names, like, like specific people that are fans of our project. So, so the community aspect has been tremendously successful, but the marketing and the campaign aspect, a failure. What do you do? Um, and I made a decision that we had to just launch, draw a line in the sand. And that's kind of why.